Hi, and welcome back to the TackleShare YouTube channel. I'm Alicia with the TackleShare program. Today I'm back at the OFAH Mario Cordellucci Hunting and Fishing Heritage Center. I have the record fish wall behind me, and today I want to do a video about one of the most highly sought after warm water fish species. That's it, we're going to be talking about walleye. All of the information for today's video can be found online at tackleshare.com slash resources. We've uploaded fish fact sheets ready for you to download and keep readily handy and available should you want to know more. But all of it's in this video, so let's get to it. All right, so now we're all set up here having a look at this walleye. We're going to talk about a few of the key identifying features. You're going to note that it has a very elongated body shape. Now this is an Ontario record fish, so of course it is the longest that we have recorded that was legally angled in Ontario. And it's also, you're going to notice a bit of coloring. Now we don't always use color as a key identifying feature, but it's a good way to get yourself prepared for fish identification. So gold is one of the main colors when you reference walleye. You'll notice it has a very goldish color to the body, sometimes yellow in color. You'll also notice a lot of olive green, and you'll notice that the patterning on the fish will be a little bit lighter in the belly area. Most fish don't tend to get lighter on, like, on the side of the fish, they tend to get more light in the bottom, but walleye has a tendency to get a little bit paler on the side of the body. You'll notice that this fish has lots of very, very sharp teeth in order to capture its prey. It's one very, very key feature with a walleye, and that has to do with how they feed, is that they have this opaque color to their eye. It's, or they look glassy or even white at times. And that is because they prefer to be more active at dawn, dusk, and during the night. They tend to hide out in cooler water bodies during the day and they're more actively feeding at night. So they have very, very sensitive eyes and because of that, they also have a very opaque appearance to their eyes. Now this is a replica, so it won't look exactly how it is, but that's to give you an idea of what a fish eye would look like in the walleye family. Another very big key feature with the walleye is that you'll notice they're gonna have a distinctive white tip to their tail there. You can see it there. So a walleye will have a white tip to their tail, this elongated body that's yellow, green, kind of a gold color, and that really very apparent foggy or opaque eye. So that's the identification features of the walleye. Because of that light sensitivity they have, they do tend to be in deeper water throughout the day. They like to hang low and they get very, very active around dawn, dusk, and throughout the evening. They're very, very active feeders when it's dark because they have that light sensitivity. They prefer cover in the mornings and evenings in like weed beds, rocks, fallen trees, any sort of structure like that. So as far as reproduction goes, early in the spring, right after the ice melts, around at, a, at about a temperature of around you know, six to eight degrees Celsius, they will start to spawn. And that happens generally in like rocky, or like coarse rocky areas on the shoals or high current areas of rivers. A female reaches maturity around three to five years and can produce 600,000 eggs in a spawning duration. Walleye mainly um, predate, they're carnivorous, they've mainly predate on other fish species, but have been known to eat like crayfish, frogs, insects, and other small mammals that they can get their sharp, sharp teeth on. So they tend to dive down deep in the water throughout the day, and they're very active feeders at uh, dusk, dawn, and during the night. So the age of a walleye in about southern Ontario is about 10 to 12 years. The further north you go, so most of northern Ontario walleye can get up to be about 20 years. It gets, it's cold up there, they're slower growing, but they sure do last a lot longer, so they get a lot older. The so most fish that you're going to be catching, about, about 12 to about 25 inches long, and like I mentioned before, this is the Ontario record, and this fish was uh, 22 and a quarter pounds and is about 36 and a half inches long. So it's a very, it's a very remarkable fish. And, um, anyone would be very happy to catch it, but it's not um, necessarily the standard that you're going to be seeing. I'll put a link in the description below where you can read more about Ontario records and the specific details about where this fish was caught. So 
Let's say you want to catch a fish. What are the best fishing tips knowing all these different features you've just learned about the walleye? Walleye are known as good fighters and they are very well known for being very, very tasty. They're probably the highest sought after fish species in the whole freshwater, sorry, in the whole warm water category of Ontario's fish. They really like to be active in low light conditions. So if you're gonna be targeting them, you have to get down deep or be out fishing at dawn, dusk or in the evening. But that doesn't mean you can't catch them throughout the day. But if you're gonna be really investing your resources, you're gonna prioritize you know, low light level conditions. So you can do that by running crankbaits or spinner baits or worm harnesses in the spring. You can also um, have a lot of luck when you're doing that um, trolling behind a boat. That's when I tend to catch a lot of my walleye. You can try jigging with live bait and using soft plastics, or you can use deep diving crankbaits just to, and target around rocky shoals. They like to coast around areas where they know that their prey are going to be. So those rocky areas, they're not gonna be somewhere muddy. They like rocky areas, sometimes areas with a little bit of current so that you can check that um, out. That's where they're gonna be coasting around looking for their prey. If you're ever ice fishing with them, you can use jigs or, or spoons that have a live minnow on them to give it a bit of action. Walleye are by far the most highly sought after fish warm water fish for eating in Ontario. They are very well known for not only for eating fillets of the fish, but also for cheek meat, where you can find quite a bit of meat in the cheek on either side of that fish. That's something that um, we may do a follow-up video on, but they're very, very tasty fish, flaky white meat, and so spectacular. So they're really something you wanna be adding to your bucket list if you haven't already caught a walleye. You'll note that walleye are also very, very similar in appearance and body structure to a yellow perch, like we have down here on our record fish wall. If you wanna learn more about a yellow perch, we have another video loaded to our YouTube channel. Make sure to check that out. And don't be afraid to leave some comments if you have any specific lures you like to use, places you like to go, or if you have questions or wanna see more videos, please leave a comment. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell. We have more content coming your way. See you next time.